I upgraded my bearded dragon into a 4x2x2. By two by two. It looks like this. I really, really love it. I got a rock build up right here that's going to attract heat during the day. And this light right here goes off during the day. And he has a deep heat projector that goes over his hide if he ever wants to use it. He really doesn't ever use hides though. I've never ever seen him use it unless there's a rainstorm coming. Then, if you come over here, here's his food bowl. There's his thermostat, or his thermo, thermometer. That's the word. Thermometer and hydrometer. This is a water bowl that he just recently kicked dirt into. He hates butternut squash, but I've been trying to get him to eat it. But uh, when he doesn't eat it, I give it to the isopods and all the bugs. And they have been blowing up. Their populations have just, like, blown up all over. Like, when I was moving all of his substrate into here it was insane but as you can see he really really loves it like really loves it um it felt so so bad this morning because it's really hot in my reptile room uh, which just so happens to also be my office which is why i barely use my office but it's really hot in my reptile room and i turned off my heater when i was building the tank but i kind of have like minor adhd and I wasn't paying attention. And when I had gone to bed, I hadn't turned it back on. And so when I woke up in the morning, it was like 59 degrees in the reptile room. And uh, because his tank got upgraded, his heater isn't as good as I as it was in the other tank. So it his tank was super, super cold. And he was really like, just like, he did, wasn't like in danger or anything, I don't think. Because it was around 60 degrees in his tank. 64 i think it was on the cold side 68 with the heater um 72 was its peak at during the night i looked online or on, on my little app to show me my switch bot thing and uh so i don't think he was ever like in danger but he looked obviously cold and uh like tired so i immediately set up his second light uh, which i was going to actually put up for the burmese python but because the burmese python is so small I have it in a temporary setup well, until I can get a tank for it. And uh, <coughs> it, um, the light that I was going to put for it um, didn't have anywhere to go right now. So I put that back on Irwin's tank now that it can fit it. And that actually did the trick. Now it's staying at the right temps. Um, a little bit colder than I would like, but only by 4 degrees. So hopefully it's just while well, it's warming up and once it like... Like the rocks settle in and all that, and they will heat up and they bask for a couple days. Um, hopefully, the temperatures will fix itself. But uh, when I put the <coughs> the second light in, I'll show a picture of what Irwin was doing because it was freaking adorable. He was just like flattened his whole body out, flattened his chin out, and was just soaking up as much as much of the heat as he could. Now, because I was able to put uh, Irwin into a four by two by two. I finally was able to get a 40 gal, which was just my bearded dragon gold 40 gal, for my rescue leopard gecko. And I was able to, this morning, uh, I did the 4x2x2 two two yesterday. I actually live streamed it on TikTok. Um, but <clears throat> I put Littlefoot's 40 gallon together today, this morning. And it it's, needs more clutter and more stuff for him to climb on. But I absolutely love it. First off, I was able to stack my uh, king snake, Sir Slithers, my speckled king snake, on top because that's a top winning tank. I couldn't put it on the bottom. And Littlefoot's new tank is a front opening. So I put it down here. I had to build a little bit of a stand, makeshift stand, but it fits just perfectly. I can fit his light in there. And as you can see, it's a lot better. I'll show some pictures of the old setup if I have them. Um, and uh, I'll show you guys what it used to look like. But this is what it, I have to change all that stuff. Um, but this is what it used to look like. And I really love it. He has never used these very much. But he immediately uh, went right for it. And he's eventually probably going to go back into his favorite rock hide. But as you can see, I put three... This one's kind of like a just like a shell for a second one. Then this seems to be his new favorite hide. 
And then this one over here looks really nice, and then there's a hide on top. But also, right in here, there's a little tunnel he can sneak into that you can't really see into. So you can also climb on top, climb, climb around. Like, he can climb in from... I hope that didn't mess up the mic. <laughs> you can climb in through here, go in there, and come out there. Or you can climb up on top and go around. He can climb in and under these both of these branches that I have in there. And then there's my aloe, my jade plant, <clears throat> and a bunch of rocks that will soak up heat and such. But it's a super great upgrade. <clears throat> um, you, you guys will see the after pictures. Um, the, it's just like such a big difference and i'm hoping he'll really like it he already seems to be liking it a little bit more he's a little bit skittish right now obviously he just got moved but uh i'm really happy that he was able to get a 40 gal like they're supposed to luckily he wasn't an adult yet so i didn't feel too bad about having him in 20 too long but he was getting to his adult age for sure so it's just good to have him in that now the third actually upgrade that came from this is Mars, my special needs corn snake. She's doing really great, so I needed to get her into a small, smaller tank than what would normally be recommended for a corn snake, especially of her size. Well, to be fair, she's small still, though. She's a little bit stunted, but I uh, was able to get her uh, little foot old 22 long, I threw in some of the uh, Burmese python substrate that I made together, and since it doesn't need it right now, I threw it into the tank, put some sticks in there, and I'll I'll get some more clutter and stuff. But I had some old cork, cork bark in her in her like uh, tub to make a secondary hide, and her favorite hides in there. So she has two hides, one on each side. She has a heat pad underneath, which I don't like heat pads, but it'll do the trick until I can go get a heat. Uh, light um, but she was able to get a pretty nice tank and uh, it's the first time she's seen dirt in about I'd say about almost three months now and as you can see <clears throat> it's pretty bare right now but I'll, I'll work with it for sure um, right now I'm wait I'm hoping she'll eat this she normally likes when I just lay it down but I didn't want substrate to get on it but uh, she immediately in the back here, I don't know if you can see that very well, but right here, come on, right here, there's a hole that she dug down into immediately. Like, literally, as soon as she saw dirt, she just burrowed right into it. So, uh, that's a really important reason why you need to put deep substrate in your corn snakes. Uh, enclosure is. They actually really like to burrow. Um, I almost never saw Mars. I'm hoping with the smaller tank, um, she'll be able to find her meals even with her uh, seeing problems. And I'm hoping her seeing problems are going to be almost entirely gone by the end of the month. Um, she's been doing really, really great. So um, I'm pretty hopeful for that. But um, I'm hoping she's able to find her food in here. This is like the first test. I'm also not entirely hopeful that she'll eat today. Solely on the fact that I just rehomed her. Um, so uh, I'm not getting my hopes up. She might be a little bit stressed just from moving into a tank. But uh, she might. It's been a little bit since she's ate, eaten. I Because of the berm, I was waiting till the end of the week to feed. Because I want to get all of my snakes on the same schedule, just so it's a little bit easier. And uh, my Bur my Burmese pythons breeder said that she uh, he skipped her meal uh, this week for when I got her and I could feed her. Well, I got a rat today, a small rat, and I opened up her tank, and she's really huffy and puffy. Like uh, like I said, she bit me, which I don't even have the mark anymore. Just in case anybody's wondering. Literally barely did anything. Um, but she's pretty feisty. So when I took opened up the hide, she started huffing and puffing. I put the mouse up in front of her, wiggled it a little bit, saw her tongue moving towards it each time, and then just almost instantly wham and spun around it. And she's already swallowed it. It's already in her belly. So I put her hide back on her and all that. But uh, yeah, she ate immediately. So here's hoping Mars will eat. Um, Vanta hasn't eaten yet. 
but she typically eats at night. Um, I'm not going to show you guys her feeding or where she feeds because um, sadly with her, I have to feed live. She uh, currently, I'm working with her, but she currently is refusing all thawed meals. No matter what I've done, I've done pretty much everything. Um, she Right now, she only takes um, live pinkies or sorry, fuzzies. But um, I'm working really hard with her to get her on thawed because I, do, I don't like feeding live. I, I really like mice and rats and all that. So Also, it's dangerous for the animals, my animals. Um, but it's pretty unethical. And I don't like feeding live, but sadly I have to for her. Uh, otherwise, she would be dead right now. But uh, like I said, I'm working with her to get her off of it. Oh, but it's currently wondering why I'm talking so much when he's trying to rest in his new tank. And get used to it but yeah there's tons of isopods and stuff in here too i really love his tank the king snake also ate uh in this little cup right here i put it in front of sir slither's face hold on so uh <clears throat> when i got him from a <clears throat> the local pet store near me i uh was told he was being fed in like little medicine cups and uh, she's like, the lady who sold it to me was like, he's solely fed in a cup, so he's pretty used to just it being laid in a cup and him just going and finding it. Well, that's pretty easy, so I just kind of laid it in front of his face like this, and he immediately started smelling at it, started like, uh, like rubbing his nose on it, so I knew immediately he was going to take it, so I just kind of laid it down, and as soon as I laid it down, he just, oh, <laughs> just swallowed it. So, um... He ate too. Um, so Vanta and Mars are currently waiting, but Mars I don't have a huge hope for. <laughs> um, trying to think if there's any more updates. I think this is the baby morning gecko, but I'm not 100% sure. The egg looks good. It's not like molding or anything like that, so I don't know if it's going to hatch or not. But yeah, little morning gecko, don't you chirp at me. Hope you guys like this and I uh, hope it was interesting and uh, I hope you guys stick around you follow up to friends and uh, I'm gonna be posting around a TikTok position uh, petition against the ban um, if you guys want <clears throat> we should sign it because um, it's I don't know uh, TikTok's created so many communities and to see it get ripped down especially my own community that i've worked really hard on and just got a thousand followers and I, now i'm starting to go onto youtube um like it, it it hurts me personally to see my app that i work so hard to get a like a small following to uh share my knowledge of reptiles and my passion of reptiles and uh uh help people share that same passion that they have um it hurts to see that possibly be going um because we have old politicians and um i don't want to get like into politics or anything like that but it just really showed how out of date everything is and how out of touch we really are in our country right now and it, it was pretty shocking and uh, i think we should sign this petition to try to save tiktok because um if they take away tiktok I, I just have a feeling that it'll be the start of like YouTube going, Instagram going, and all social media getting taken down because it's a security risk. So that's just my uh, two cents on it. Uh, I have no real knowledge in politics or anything like that, so don't take anything I say as concrete or anything like that. But yeah, <laughs> go Littlefoot's testing out the tank. Look at him go. Oh, what a little cutie.